Hey guys, welcome to React Slash Review of the film Bebo. Now, I have of course not seen this, it's my first viewing, and I'm kind of interested in it. I only saw the teaser trailer and the actual trailer, and it looks solid, I think. I just worry that the plot's going to be very predictable and uh, cliche. But, I, I feel like this film could be good. It could surprise me. Going into this, I kind of feel like I'm going to think this film is solid, but not really kind of enjoy it to a level where I'm going to rewatch this, or I'm going to say it's like, in, you know, you know what I mean? Where it's like, I feel like I'm not going to rewatch it, but I probably will just have a nice, pleasant experience. And that's really how I feel with this film. It's, by the way, I forgot to mention, it is a musical as well. And for me, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a musical guy. Personally, I think a lot of the times uh, there are many flaws that a lot of musicals share. But to be fair, musicals can be good if they are done well. They can be very interesting, I'd say, when it comes to how they're kind of paced. And if they're done well, I think they can, you know, kind of use that to their advantage. But if they're not, it's kind of just like, the pacing's a little odd. I just feel like musicals always have not great pacing, and it's mainly because a lot of the times the songs kind of interrupt the flow of the story. But, yeah, anyways, guys, let's get right into it. Genuinely, some of these intros are very creative and clever. I love that. That's great. That transition was great. I will give him that. That was good. Set and looking very vibrant, you know, in like a Spanish town. That is really cool how you have like sort of that, where it's like a Spanish town and they're implementing Spanish culture. That's cool. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is like the first song. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do about the songs. I'm probably not going to have them in the video. Uh, maybe like the startup, but not the actual song. So, your majority of the time, you probably won't hear the songs. I'm just gonna mute them. I mean, I don't think this song, this first song is actually solid. It's not bad, but I, <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't really like the rapping parts, but they're, they're fine. I will say the energy is really good, though. Like, the animation with the song, it, it's good. I think it fits very well with the song. Okay, so this is like his backstory. Like, and it's also in the song. All right, I guess that makes sense. That actually does help pacing when it comes to the film. And that, friends, is how you do it in Havana, Cuba. I knew it was in Cuba. I could tell. I had a feeling. I could actually tell. I was going to mention that, but I didn't know if I was right. Yeah, so this is mainly, like, the story type thing. Like, this is what it's about. It's basically getting the letter, like, to her. And that's why I was, like, saying, like, it might be predictable and cliche, because it's, like, you know, kind of like a road trip slash, like, adventure story. Kind of like that. Okay, so, yeah, now he's going to, like, learn who Marta is. And, uh, at that moment, I realized that if I told her what was in my heart, she might not follow her heart. Kind of sad, but yeah. I will say their designs are very interesting. I, I just want to comment on that, because I just, I was kind of thinking that for a majority of that scene. Oh my love, oh my sadness, I put it into a song. Oh, so then he has to like send the, yeah, so the monkey has to send the song to her, I think. That's the plot. Okay, so this is the second song, and already the visuals are kind of cool. Yeah, the visuals are already really cool with this song. Dang! I will say the visuals look great in this scene. I will say the song is really good too. It complements the brilliant visuals. I, I like this one. This one's cool. Oh, Vivo, you are excited too, huh? No, I'm not excited. Oh, so it's like the case where he can talk, but nobody understands him. What is he thinking? A plane trip to Miami. It's been 60 years and you go all the way there for one show, for one song. What difference can one song make? Oh, yeah, so he's gonna learn what, what, yeah. What, yeah, he's gonna learn, he's gonna learn uh, uh, that a, one song can make a big difference by the end of the film. So this is kind of like showing more into like, Beatles past. But I don't know if it was warranted. I, I kind of feel... I don't know. I don't I don't really feel much about this scene. I kind of feel just like confused a little bit cuz I feel like it wasn't really warranted. Andres?
Wow, okay, was not expecting that actually. That actually is kind of a great way for him to kind of go on the solo adventure because I was wondering how does he go on the solo adventure? I was not expecting that. That was actually sudden. All I want to do is play again with you, my friend. Yeah, okay, so you have like another song for about, you know, about like him kind of explaining his grief or whatever. Okay, that's a cool detail. You actually have the people in the background like singing along with a song. That's very, I was... Yeah, it's kind of a nice detail, I guess. All right, I like this song. That song is good. This song is good. I like it. I like how it kind of goes from like slow to fast. Maybe Viva will hear it and I could take him back to Florida. Oh, that's right. She's from Florida. Oh, yeah. So like Miami, Florida. Yeah. So I guess that's how he could go to. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess it's nice correlation. Music is in her blood. Cuba, Cuba. Oh. I love yeah. So like she's bad at music. So like that's the whole point. Like, she's not good with, like, music. Yeah, so he's going to Miami, or he is in Miami now, because of the... He's stuck in the bag. You can't keep pushing everyone away. If you don't at least try to get along with other kids, you're going to be very lonely. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's actually a good... <laughs> that's a good line. Yeah, so you can kind of, like, tell what her character is, just kind of her by her design, which I guess it's good because her design fits. I will say this song is so far my least favorite. I don't... I don't like it. I get, like, it's supposed to, like, reflect what her character is. Like, very loud and, like, bombastic and all over the place with, like, no... You know... With like, yeah, just like no flow. So I get, I get it's supposed to represent the character, but it's, uh, it's just, I don't like it at all. I just don't like the song. Also, the, I don't think the visuals are that great either. I know why you came to Florida. You're trying to find Martha. Okay, so this is the bit where they like, you know, yeah, they both realize the, re or yeah, they, she realizes the motivation. That's what I'm trying to say. Martha, is it true that your old partner Andres might play with you tonight? One can hope. Oh, so she wanted him to play with her. Okay, that makes sense. Actually kind of sad now that you think about it. You know that if you buy a sand dollars cloth bag instead of using a plastic one, then you won't have the blood of Mother Nature on your hands. I'm not a bad man. I just want a cookie. <laughs> True. Hernandez! Oh, hello, blonde one. <laughs> same. Actually, same. Don't know, don't know her name, I just said blonde one, yeah. Alright, so now they have to chase the bus while also being chased by them. It's our duty as Sand Dollars to rescue him. Eva! Yeah? We're gonna need your dad's boat. So now they're chasing after them? Okay. That, so they're gonna be the, by the way, they're, they're like cookie sale girls, you know, she was supposed to be the, I cut that out because I didn't really have anything to comment on it, but I didn't know it would actually come back. Like, I didn't know it would come back. I, I didn't even think it would come back in this sort of way, so I'm actually kind of glad that they, they actually are doing that. It's kind of funny that they're antagonists, kind of, but I mean, they have motivations. <laughs> I missed the boat completely. <laughs> All right, so kind of showing that, like, you know, he's taken, you know, gaining more of a friendship with her, I guess. I will say that I think it is kind of interesting that he's kind of learning that nobody can really understand him. It makes sense why he thought before, because, like, he sang, and he probably thought that, like, you know, if they think his singing is good, they obviously can understand what he's singing. Is. Okay, kind of sudden storm out of, like, nowhere. Excuse me, mi niña. Any word from Andres? Not yet, senora. I'll double check right away. Yeah, kind of sad that she doesn't know. Oh, it's just a turtle. It's not just a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> They're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping you. Then I guess. You don't want this. Oh, of course they have the song. Just cause like, yeah, just say, of course they do. Cause then, you know, she can do what they want her to do. Eva? Huh? Eat it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what? I mean. Buddy, be quiet. Seriously? Do you have any idea what I've been? 
It's like the scene from Rango where there's like a predator coming after them and then like, you know, he has to kind of like camouflage, blend in. Who cares about a little noise? Me. Yeah, there's the predator. People, watch out! Oh, he's gonna time around the trees, isn't he? Called it! I mean, I still think you really should be quarantined for 10 days. But... You did save us from an apex predator, so well, I'm gonna let this one slide. Okay, so now they're gonna be good, I guess, because he saved them from the python. I mean, to be honest, I feel like they were more fun as, like, antagonists. Well, I guess they're not antagonists because technically they're good now, so I guess they were foils, but I feel like they were more fun when they were foils. Oh, so she's gonna learn the news now, yeah. All right, so this is the next song. This song, I, I think it starts out very cool. Also, I like the way they kind of like make Miami look, even though I don't think that's how it looks, but I kind of like that. So I'm guessing she's gonna recognize the him because he's in the poster. That is an excellent callback. That is... That is an excellent callback, actually, to, like, the beginning. Yeah, okay, so this is, like, the the final song or, you know, climactic song that you have at the end. Okay, that's a way to end the film. Using the more of, like, the unique animation style. Dude. That's great. That's great. Okay, never mind. This was the final song where like it's like celebratory. I'm keeping this in mainly just because I want to like, you know, actually show like what the film actually is. Because I feel like I would have cut after that one great scene, but I want to keep this in just to like show everyone that they, they still kind of kept going. Okay, so that was Bebo, and honestly, I, I think it's good. I think it's a really solid film. I think, yeah, I think it is, it's good. I, I like it. I really do. I really enjoyed the characters. I thought the characters were very good. I They were very well fleshed out. There were some things I did cut out that had certain things with characters. For example, the mom, there was like something with that, but I just kind of kept it out because... I really didn't have much to comment on it, and also, you know, I would like you guys to see the movie. One thing I wish they did, which I kind of already said before, not really, but I really do wish they kind of did more with the Girl Scouts, because those characters honestly were very enjoyable for me. I actually did enjoy them. I think they're kind of comical, and I do wish they did more with them. I'd say for the plot, I do like it. As I said before, I did cut some scenes, and that's totally fine. But I will say that I think the beginning is really good, the end is really good, the middle is where it kinda, kinda goes down a little bit in quality, I'd say, when it comes to the plot, where it kinda feels like it meanders a little bit, and even though it, I feel it develops the characters, it kinda feels like filler, in my opinion. But other than those things, I'd say it's a good film. The songs are pretty good, except for like a couple. Some of them are forgettable, some, you know, are okay. But I think a majority of them are very good. And the visuals are really good too. The animation is great. I love the unique style. I'd say that this didn't really have much of a unique style compared to like Mitchell's vs. Machines and Wish Dragon, which I feel like Wish Dragon uh, kind of mix of both where it like had it mixed the CGI, but like the movements were so unique. This one had like a cool, unique style at some parts, and then I'd say the only thing unique about it are the character designs. The character designs looked kind of weird, but I, they were in a good way, but in a good way. And speaking of the other films that I've done reactions slash review of, I'd say that Bebo is like below Wish Dragon. I'd say it's very close to it. Like I think both those films are very solid, but I'd say Wish Dragon is a little bit better. I do kind of like what they do a little bit more with that film. Whereas this one, you know, I think it's good. I just wish there was, I guess, something in the middle. The middle just kind of, I don't know. I, I just, there's something about it. 
But yeah, I do think Wish Dragon's a little bit better. I think that one's more enjoyable. Mitchell's vs. Machines, I just love that film. That film is great. And if we are including Spider-Verse, I would say that one's obviously at the top. That one's great. And if we're including Emoji Movie, that one's at the bottom. Yeah, the B Bebo is definitely better than the Emoji Movie. But yeah, anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like the video, subscribe to my channel. And you guys, if you guys have any other movies that you want me to do sort of this kind of thing, you can leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, I maybe will be able to do it. It really depends on what mo or where the movie is. Majority of the time, I can do it on any streaming service that I have, but I can't do it like on demand or something like some movie that, you know, it's kind of out there. But yeah, anyways, guys, enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!